Hello and welcome to Summer Meteorology 105. I am Mrs. Curtis and I will be your guide on this little journey through meteorology. I wanted to take a few minutes just before class starts and go over the canvas and the syllabus. So I'm going to share my screen. And when the course opens up, you should see the home page and the home page will have this video a little welcome video and um the zoom link in case we need to meet over zoom and some a little uh bio about me and a few other pieces of information the tabs you're going to be concerned with are the syllabus, the announcements, the modules, grades, and course evaluation towards the end of the summer. I'm gonna start off with the syllabus. So if you click on conch syllabus, maybe it will load. There we go. All right, it should take you to this page and it gives the mission statement of the college. This is an online class and my contact information. The phone number is my cell phone. Feel free to call or text anytime you have uh, questions. And I am not on campus in the summer every day. I am in Dodge uh, probably about once a week, but I live uh, outside of town about a half hour. So I do not go to Dodge City every day, but if we need to meet, we can set up a time that is not a problem. So in the summer, my office hours are by appointment and I am more than happy to Zoom or FaceTime or talk to you over the phone as well if um, you feel that we need a face-to-face -face meeting. Uh, this gives you a basic description of the course. I'm just reminding you this is a five credit hour course. And instead of doing it during the semester in 16 weeks, we're going to do it in 10 weeks. So it will move very quickly. And I'm gonna strongly encourage you several times throughout this video to not get behind because it's really difficult to get caught up. Uh, this is our KBOR competency outcomes, basic overview of meteorology. And the book we'll be using is the Cengage textbook. It should be free. You should be able to link to it. Um, that is part of our deal with Cengage through the summer. And then what I do is I weight grades. We'll have at least two discussion questions every module. They are worth 10% of your grade. Each discussion will be worth five points. I've given you a basic discussion rubric and assume that you always have to respond to at least two other posts. Tests will be worth 40% of your grade. They will be anywhere from two to 10 short answer questions. They are all open book and available. The test questions are posted in a Word document and I do copy them into just the Canvas page. You need to complete this in either a Google Doc or a Word Doc or a PDF file because you will be uploading these through Turnitin to check for plagiarism and use of artificial intelligence. Um, you can either use my word template and answer the questions that way, or you can put them into your own document. Uh, that part I'm really not concerned about. Labs and projects will be worth 50% of your grade, and they'll be set up in each module, and the instructions and or rubrics, if necessary, will be attached to each assignment. Anything requiring calculations, you need to show all work to receive credit. If you just put down the correct answer, but do not show any work, I will not give you any credit. Um, the first six modules are fairly math intensive, and then it kind of lightens up after that. Uh, the short of it is we got to understand some basic nuts and bolts of meteorology before we can start talking about fun things like tornadoes and hurricanes. 
Uh, grading scale is 90, 80, 70, 60. And course policies, uh, please don't cheat. Uh, I will adhere to the academic integrity policy. Um, it's okay to use outside resources other than your textbook, but if you do, you need to cite those sources and do not just copy and paste from those sources. Also using a chat bot or any other AI to answer questions or write papers, you will receive a zero for that. The first time it happens, you will just get a zero on that assignment or that part of the assignment. The next time it happens, I'll give you a zero on the entire assignment. And the third time it happens, I will just recommend that you drop the course. Okay. All assignments are set up and open, um, kind of. Right now, I only have the first two modules open. And once we know everybody can access the textbook and everything else, I will go ahead and open up the rest of the course. So you are free to work ahead on discussions, tests, labs, and projects. Discussion posts that are more than a week late will not receive credit. Um, the purpose of a discussion is to have a timely discussion with your classmates. And if you do it a month later, it's really not much of a discussion. Labs and tests that are more than two weeks late may not receive any credit at all. Uh, the rest are institutional policies. Uh, there's also more on these policies in your student handbook. All right. I want to go back to the uh, tab you'll use the most is modules. And the first module you'll be concerned with is the essentials of meteorology. And this is a link to the textbook. Please make sure you can access the textbook. Um, if you have any trouble with that, please let me know as soon as possible. And then the first week we will do module one. There's an overview. There is a short answer question rubric and this applies to all test questions and lab questions and some PowerPoint notes to go along with the textbook or KBOR outcomes and our DC3 CLOs, and then your learning objectives and kind of a summary of the chapter. Then your first discussion will be to introduce yourself to your classmates. And then a discussion on module one will be the weather and climate. And the second discussion will always be a muddiest point, interesting information. Wait for this. Module two, you'll see is a bit longer. Module two has a lot of information. So there are three separate lab activities in that one as well. Um, the chapter one lab activity for module one Whoops, let me just do this. Will be mostly focused on weather and climate and then the structure of the atmosphere. The module one test, when you open it, will look something like this. Um, there, again, I posted the short answer rubric. Please pay attention to that. Uh, the chapter one test document, it's just a Word document of what is right here. Again, you can use that template or you can um, just type in your own Google Doc or Word Doc. Um, Please, I, I tried on this first test to kind of give you an idea of how many sentences you should be writing to adequately answer each question. A good rule, rule of thumb is however many points it's worth, assume you would have 
at least one less or one more sentences to support it. So for a four point question here, you would have three to five sentences to adequately address the question. Um, I'm going to go back to the syllabus real quickly. It does not like opening new windows. Okay. On the syllabus, if you go down to the course outline, please note we'll do chapter one the first week, kind of get your feet wet. Chapter two is pretty labor intensive, so that's all you'll do the second week. But after that, we start covering two chapters a week until we get to chapter nine. Um, the reason you're only going to do one chapter then is you will be completing your weather journal. And then we'll go back to two chapters a week. And then we'll have a final project, research paper, et cetera. Please note that the initial discussion post is due the Friday before the assignments are due. You can post after that, but your first discussion post needs to be done by that Friday so people have a chance to read and respond to the posts. All right. We'll go back to the home page and quit sharing the screen. Okay, if you have any questions, again, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, make sure you can answer the, uh, access the textbook and everything else. And I am looking forward to a great summer. Bye.